Crowley immediately puts him into the boards from behind. Farnham wants to fight. Crowley was going to get a penalty down goal to the glove. Crowley, a good right hand there. He started to pull Farnham's jersey over his head. And down they go. Wow, Crowley did well there. Generate shots and offense. That should be a hold, and there it is. Birchie hounded by Schilling. And an extra chop. You got to be kidding me. Sealer didn't like it. He goes right after Cameron Schilling. Nick Sealer throws a big right. Schilling a right. Sealer some more right. Nick Sealer, five, six, right to the row. Schilling hanging in there. Schilling trying to come with another right. Sealer pounding away at the back of his helmet. Sealer now shaking at him, pinning him up against the glass, and they'll separate him. That was a long time coming. Someone needed to bring some energy and spark to this building. And I'll tell you what, Cam Schilling, I know exactly what he was trying to do. Oh. Now we're going to drop the gloves far side. Johnson and Susie. Far side corner. Rockford should still end up on the power play. Johnson trying to land a right. We're going to lock up. Johnson, oh boy, big right there. Then Susie Cutters knocks the helmet off of Johnson. Lands another right hand. Now Susie comes back with some more rights. Johnson will take him down. They both got some good punches in. Then Johnson with the tank down. Time of the penalty, 16-37. Greco, Greco, angle shot blocked by Clifton. Farnham gets run into Bennington. There will be a penalty. I'm not sure who it's on. And now Farnham and Clifton are going to go. Farnham starting to tee off on Clifton. Clifton getting a couple of rights in, and they go rock em, sock em, robots as Farnham continues to swing after throwing Clifton down to the ice. Brown going. Brown is going and throwing right hands. Carter Banks at center ice, three seconds into the game. Brown with a good shot. Banks comes back with a couple. Brown with one. How about this? And the Lionsmen will come in and break it up. Yes, sir. Behind the net, Kapler for the Devils. Defensively up the right wall, and now a fight. Thompson drops the gloves in the offensive zone with Chris Breen. For our second fight of the night, Thompson back with some lefts. Breen comes with rights. They're in the right dot. Thompson swinging away. So is Breen. Thompson's helmet comes off. They're locked up now, right on the Devils' offensive zone, right circle. And that'll do it, five for fighting. So two fights in the opening period. Wait, Malone came with the left and missed. Bass and Malone now engaged, big right by Bass, didn't connect. Malone trying to come with the left, he landed with an uppercut. Some rights by Malone. Bass hanging in there, big right uppercut by Malone again. Bass with an overhand, no damage there. Bass trying to switch to his left. Malone coming with some rights now. Then a left by Malone. Malone pulling the jersey down over Bass's head. He's got him bent over with some leverage here, Malone. Some left by Bass, left by Malone. Ryan Malone feeding left out in center ice. Lines will want to jump in and they'll separate him. The goal, Bennington the save. And as two Thunderbirds arrive on the doorstep, we're gonna get some rough stuff after this whistle and you knew this was coming. Brown has dropped his gloves and is going after any Bruin near him. Hunt is tied up with another Bruin away from the play. Ballacy's going to drop his gloves. Chase Ballacy, of all people, will drop the gloves against Colby Cave. T-Birds need a spark, and he had a feeling something like this could happen. Cave getting some good rights in on Ballacy. Ballacy, though, tackles Cave down to the ice. For player. Who was it that hit it? Now the right hand's being thrown right there from Devontae Stevens on Catanacci. Stevens pounding away on Cananacci, he went to his knees, he gets back up again. Was that Cananacci that hit Neilander? Gabriel at center ice. They engaged, Stevens didn't like that hit. Gabriel some lefts, and then a right. Some more rabbit punches by Gabriel with the left, and a big swinging right. Siemens with a big right. Gabriel had a hang in there. Siemens throwing five, six, seven rights, but not a lot of damage. Gabriel, all right, he says, swinging around a bit. Some rights by Siemens, left by Gabriel, and he landed a couple of them, sending Siemens down. He got back up. Gabriel threw one more, and they'll separate him. And Dylan Mickelrath. Gastic locks Mickelrath up. Gastic trying to come over with the rights. This is the big heavyweight here for the Stockton. E. Mickelrath comes over with those short punches here. Gastic trying to go for the home run. 
can't get free. Mickelrath off balance though. Gaznik coming over with the uppercuts and the hooks as he's trying to get Mickelrath again off balance. Oh, he popped him real good right there. Luke Gaznik still coming across with those rights. Mickelrath has his balance back, tried to throw a haymaker, couldn't. They still dance here. This is a long fight. Gaznik still going. Oh, he nearly just, just touched Mickelrath there with that right hook. Still battling here as Gazdik comes across once again. Mickelrath gives him those short little pops there. Gazdik evades one punch, now comes in pretty close as it looks like this one close to nearing an end here, but they're still going. They're exchanging punches. They're not hitting right now, but this is quite the spirited scrap from these two. This puts Stockton Heat fans on their feet. Gazdik and Mickelrath still throwing. Now it looks like they are done. That's a heck of a battle there between these two. Valletta dropping the gloves with Cadet. They're just tied up right now, wrapped up in one another, and now Valletta getting some rights for Cadet. Oh! Come back on the right, he caught him over the top, and down he goes. Oh, he's going to start chasing after Kramer Rosa. Now they're going to drop the mates. Brad Malone and Joseph Kramer Rosa down at the side of the Condor's net. Malone has a hold of Kramer Rosa. Now Rock and Sock and Robots. Malone over the top of the head of Kramer Rosa. Ramarosa comes back and down to the ice they go. Center ice, they measure one another. Graves throws a right hand. A couple of inside left by Graves. A right by Brown. He misses with a right, a right by Graves. Graves misses with a right. Oh, good right hand there by Brown. Another right by Brown. Graves trying to get him tied up. Now uh, they wrestle around in tight quarters. Lions men looking for a spot to move in. They do, that'll be it for that. Goldberg and Liam O'Brien will drop the gloves. Goldberg with a right and another right and another right. Liam O'Brien is turning away. And now O'Brien comes back with a right and maybe a right connected there. Their helmets are still on. O'Brien's helmet goes flying and now he's wrestling Goldberg down to his knees. And now he throws a punch while Goldberg was down on the ice. Oh! It's Luke Kazdick with Leambis, two big time men. Gazdick in the Ice Guardians movie. Leambus last year's Pim's leader. And his first fight, he gets his elbow protector loose. Gazdick's got his helmet off, exchanging and hitting air. Leambus connected to the side of the head. Leambus still has his helmet on. Gazdick turns to body blows instead. Leambus is circling and hitting, circling and hitting. That's the uh, exchange. Gazdick trying to do the same. Two veteran warriors. Punched to the side of the head by Leambus to Gazdick. Gazdick is a bigger man, but Leambus is tough as they come. Gazdick tries to throw a right over the top. Leambus is holding him off, and they continue to throw. And Gazdick got a good one in there, and I think that's enough. They're going to call it off there. Johnson. Our first scrap of the night, Johnson's helmet gets knocked off. Gertzen trying to land some rights, now coming back with some lefts. And on Johnson, now Gertzen coming back with some rights. Hitting them. Gertson is. Johnson is trying to get his arm free. Johnson giving up some inches. Gertson, six foot four. Luke Johnson, six foot. Johnson now in a little defensive position. Gertson landed some lefts. Johnson got a right in. Now Johnson comes back with the left. Gertson still trying to hammer up them some with some left hands there. That got deflected and everybody in front of the goal getting a little bit feisty here and the gloves are down and they're dropped and Tyler Lewington is swinging away with McCormick in front of the net. Lewington's second fight of the season. Ian McCormick partnering up and dancing around in the bottom of the face off circle on the near side. McCormick with no helmet sticks the glove dropped and uppercut by Lewington. They're letting them go here. Short right by Tyler Lewington. Rockham Saka punches haven't come yet but Lewington Takes McCormick down, much to the delight of the fans here at Giants Center. Opposite of Paul Bittner, they lock words in the Iowa zone. Bittner trying to get the right screen. Sealer trying to get the right screen. Each of them with a great grasp. Bittner getting him right across. Sealer now coming across with a couple of big rights. Bittner coming in with a right. Boy, this is a good toe-to-toe, do-si-do between Sealer and Bittner. What a warrior-type fight right there. Going to go in the first. These two meeting again. They met last year. Curry over the top on the right. His helmet comes off. Lomberg is still on. Both are throwing rights. Wheeling around and down the ice. They go. Curry comes back. And a good tilt. Now Sam Carrick is going to line up with Ryan Lomberg for the Heat. 
And the two have grappled and are now exchanging right hands. Lombard got one in. Carrick has thrown his uh, elbow protector loose, and he just sent a big right cross and then a body blow. He's stuck under for a moment and is right back up with a hard exchange. And these two continue to fire in the best fight of the year so far. Carrick and Lomberg now broken up by the linesman. Galazzi, who's grabbed by Stortini after a hit, and now Stortini's trying to get the right arm free. Takes a couple of rights himself, and now throws one, throws another, and then chops it right to the ice.